Yo, 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 yo. So what is you guys? Um. So I just wanted to tell those. This is gonna be a motivational speech video. <laughs> um. So. I was told by my teacher, one of my teachers, um, it was a riddle, but I can't remember the words, but he was saying that this man, the doctor was telling him he couldn't do stuff, but at the end of the day, he looked back and he did what they t said they couldn't do, that he couldn't do. Don't just do it to prove people wrong. Do it to prove yourself right. Because there's always going to be doubtful people in your life. Um, always. So, it's not always going to be ups. It's going to be ups and downs in your life. You got to let the downs motivate you to be, have them ups more. But, you know, for me, ups were hard to come across for me. Um, I can... <clears throat> I could try to do good things and they still end up doing end up being bad. It's the same way with almost everything you do in your life. Yeah, you might have good intentions, but you also gotta think what's gonna happen at the end. What whether people are gonna hate you, want to talk to you or not want to talk to you at all. So I mean, yeah, there is points where I say, man, fuck my life. I don't want to fucking live it no more. Matter of fact, I said that this morning. I said I don't want to live this way no more. I want to change. No. So my teacher, when we went to school Thursday, last day of school, for me too, um, my teacher played a song. It was by Man in the Mirror. It was Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. No, he was talking about wanting to change, but he couldn't. Looking in the mirror and seeing that you, what you are. What you want to be, what you want to do, what what your past is. You can't hold yourself accountable for the past. You got to hold yourself accountable for the future. Because you don't know what the fuck's going to do with the future. You know. <clears throat> yeah, I always preach. I always preach. I always preach about having good things in life. I always preach about never giving up. And I always preach about... All this shit, but I guarantee you, if you fucking came to my life and you saw the shit that I went through, you wouldn't say say I wouldn't have there people sit there and say, "Oh, well, you just say it so you don't have to get you can give views." You know, people, if you think I'd give wanted to give views, why the fuck would I be on here trying to have make y'all happy and trying to make y'all videos and shit every day, like like three or four a week? No, I don't do it for the views. I do it for the people that need help. I want people to know that I can be trusted. That I'm always going to be there for somebody. You know, there's so much shit going on in the world that nobody notices the people that want the fucking help. Like, there's girls in the fucking school that I asked them before my girlfriend that said, Oh, I don't want to date you because you're fuck. That'd be a whole fucking downgrade. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about your looks. Why the fuck would you give a fuck about your looks? Because one day in the future, you don't have to fucking date a fucking 
handsome ass guy that's gonna fuck you over. And you're gonna say, what happened to all the good guys? You bitch, you put them all in a friend zone. This is, this is what I'm talking about. People are so quick to judge people, it's not even funny. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm a fuckhead. I'm a fuck up. I know. I'm told that every fucking day. You know, I'm gonna get somewhere better where it has shit. I can. It sounds better. So, it gets to the point, well, I don't want this show to hold me back, I let that shit thrive, make me thrive, I let that shit make me thrive, I don't let people control what I can do and control what I can't do. You know Yeah, I brought you on the bathroom. I'm not using the bathroom. I'm using this for a sound. I'm not using that. I'm using it for the light. You see? see, I got my underwear. There's people in this world that don't don't get sick on what they want. There's people that in this world that don't have a house. There's people that in, in this world that have a food every day. They don't have food every day. They don't have a house. They don't have a fucking place to go. They don't have no no family. They have no friends. They have no phone. They have no shit. They have nothing. It just gets to the point where. People think it's all right to judge people, but it's not. It's not all right to judge people. It's wrong. It's just dead ass wrong. Wrong. You know, one action. If you were to describe yourself with one action, one word, you'll. Your biggest fucking mistake you've ever made. It'd be you fucked up. It'd be three words that you would say to yourself, I'm fucked up. No, people don't have the ability to know what they've done. Is it wrong? Some people can go a life without fucking doing stupid shit. But, you know, people, you know, we want to know what makes a person a person. Is his or her mistake, mistakes in his life. Um, sure, I may not be the best son, I may not be the best grandchild, I may not be the best boyfriend, I may not be the best person in the world. There's no such thing as the best person. I may not be the best one you can find, but I'm still, I'm 17, I still got time to learn. I still got time to learn. That's shit.
Um, I used to think, wow, what a fuck up I am. Because I, I was told daily, hourly, minutely that I was a fuck up. I was a mistake. I was a regret. I was... I was to come so I, my parents would have swallowed. And hell, my mom, birth mama even told me that. Because she, I was to come so she would have swallowed. But you know what? I thought that made me thrive. Sure, I may have had funerals in the past. I've had shit going on in the past. But, but you know what? That shit's all my story. That's not your story. I my past is my story. My future is my story. Right now is my story. Two seconds ago was my history. This whole video, when you see, it, is my history. It's my history. When you see this video, it's my history. I want to help people. I don't like seeing them dragged down. I like helping. You know, I was raised to give the shirt off my back when somebody needed it. And I do that. If I have money, in effect. Look. Nah, I ain't gonna stunt. Just fuck them. 20, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, you know how much I spent on it so far? I've spent, I've saved my money. I spent only $30. So I'm going to be left off with these. But I was smart. I gave shit. I sold, I didn't sell weed. I sold fucking art. I gave. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 60, 70, 80. I gained a 40, $50. No, $65. Because I spent, I did my phone bill. But I spent my money wisely. I, I do, I do, I do. You know, I might not be the smartest person. I may not be the dumbest person. I may be a person that you want to know. I may be a person you look up to. I may be a person you hate. I may be a person you like. I may be a person you love. I might be a person you admire. But you know, how hard it is. I'm gonna say, it. I'm me, and I don't care who thinks that they're better than me. Cause you know what? I got my girlfriend, I got my family, I got my church family, I got my Lord. That all of them matter to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of them fucking matter to me. <clears throat> so that leads me to the person, <clears throat> the one I was talking about earlier. People are so quick to just somebody. I was judged back in November based on my looks, my ex, and the way she lied. I was judged. I was called. I'm called a rapist at school, and nobody believes it. My 
My family and my girlfriend are the only ones that believe it. It's fucking horrible when you gotta go to school worrying about what's gonna happen today. What's gonna happen the next day. Are you gonna make it out alive for school? Are you gonna fucking make it out with bruises? You gotta fuck. It's fucking bad enough for. I gotta fucking look over my shoulder every five minutes to make sure nobody's coming after me. It's bullshit that I do that. What's also bullshit? When I told school, I wrote statements. I wrote shit every day and t- gave it to the fucking principal, counseling, counselors, fucking vice principal, assistant principal, whatever. All the people that were above teachers, I even gave it to teachers. They didn't do shit about it when I was bullied. They didn't do shit about it when I was told to put a gun in my head and pull the trigger. They didn't do shit about it when people threatened me. They didn't do shit about it when I needed people. No, when they did shit, when I had shit on me, when I when I cut my wrist, because school, school was fucked. Yeah, I say that. I'm proud. School's fucked me over. School has fucked me over. No, it's just, people decide what they think is best. That's also one of the reasons, that's also one of the things that lead me to people judge. People judge on your past. People judge not based on your feet. People judge the way you look. And if you tell the truth, they don't give a fuck about you. If you look a certain way, if you tell the truth and you look a different way, they give a fuck about you. Just like my, my, my best friend. A friend of mine, Dylan. He was accused of being a rapist. Same thing as me, like two different girls. Thir- not four different girls. You know. I'm being accused of the same shit he was. You know, there's so much shit that can be done in this world, and nobody cares. Nobody fucking cares. There's so much stuff that can be done in this world, for example, you feed, you, you fix up the home, the fucking abandoned place. You give them fucking ha- a homeless home, uh, fucking house. When you fix up the abandoned buildings, you make it a house. You make it, you give them money. You give them a job. You, um, help support them. You do everything you can for them. You help. People, you get you ready. Give your shirt off your back. You do shit for them. You don't just drive by and say, "Ba da ba ba ba." They're hiring. No, I was that type of person a couple years ago. But then when it really hit me, I didn't have no money. I had to get a job. I had to get a job. I had no money. See, I was sitting on the fucking toilet, but I mean, the lighting was good. See, the lighting's fucking horrible here. But I live in Lowell. So. I'm gonna try to find something that I can do a sit down video on. Hang on. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, I get some. I get some. Trust me. 
you know, there. So, and then I got a job, okay? They were taking advantage of me because I didn't know child labor laws and stuff like that. You know, people. That which leads me to the fucking point where people judge. You know, based on what the fuck I know, they thought I didn't know child labor laws. Let's repeat that. Um, based on what they thought I knew and I didn't know, they fucked me over. I gave them three weeks. Pay me no extra time. Pay me no double shifts. Pay me for an hour. And when I did overtime, they paid me less. When I did undertime, they paid me more. Well, less too. I was supposed to be getting paid eight seventy five an hour. They were paying me seven fifty an hour. Oh, minimum wage. Minimum wage now is eight seventy five. That's minimum wage now. No, people. People don't think about what people's past is, what people's present is, what people's future is. They based you on the way you look, the way you act, the way you talk, the way you live, the way you dress, the type of shoes you wear, the type, of, how much money you have, how much. How many people you have? How famous you are? How how popular are at school? What do you smoke? Do you do drugs? Do you drink? That's all they focus on. That people are. No. I guarantee you, if one of those people fucking came up to me, which they have, they had nothing to their name. They spent it all on their fucking clothes, their fucking shoes. They didn't pay for a phone bill. Their parents still. So then they're like 30 years old. They don't pay for nothing. They bought their shoes. Which, yeah, good. Good for them. They pay for them shoes. They pay for them clothes. They went to a fucking expensive ass store and bought two outfits worth $500. Buy a pair, couple pairs a day, $500. So that's not right there. Three weeks pay for most jobs. Maybe four. Maybe two for some jobs. But I guarantee they have a dollar in their name. One came up to me yesterday and said, You have a dollar. Did the same shit. Spent their money on shoes, clothes, makeup, fucking everything they wanted. Not the shit they needed. I said, No. They said, Why? Because I, I said, You should know how to spend your money wisely. They said, What you mean? I'm going to rob you. I'm like, Go ahead. My money's not on me. I had a, a couple dollars on me for tarp. I had three dollars on me for tarp. I felt like a drink. That's it. I said, you know what? Take what you want. But I guarantee you, karma's a bitch. Come on, come. It'll come back to you. They said, what you mean? I was like, if you steal from me, someone's gonna steal from you. It's just gonna go on. You wanna teach you wanna teach your people new stuff, right? This is a person that's asked me, how can I be better? This is a person that's asked me, how can I be better? How can I be better? How can I be better? Kept asking me that every day. Yesterday. Not back Wednesday. It was Wednesday when it happened because I'm thinking today's Friday. Or Saturday yes, we had school. But Sunday. But they came out to me and asked for money. I said, You don't you don't have money on you, do you? They said, No, I said, You steal from me, it's gonna come right back and bite you in your ass. They said, Why? What you mean by that? 
I was like, you want you want me to teach you how to be a better person, right? Yeah. Don't do this shit. Work and spend your money wisely. They said, what you mean by that? Pay for your phone bill. Go to fucking Walmart for clothes. Go to an outlet. Go to the Goodwill for sh- go. Yeah, sure. Shoes would be nice to have. Go. All shoes do is protect you from stepping in dog shit and getting hookworm. And stepping in uh, fucking puddles and getting fucking pneumonia and shit like that. Really do. You know, like my teacher was telling me, there's a kid in my class that had $250 pair of shoes, Jordans. I said, you can possibly buy 20, 40, 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. You you could possibly buy seven pairs of shoes and a couple of outfits and some food with that money from Walmart. I got shoes sex for day, seven all every day of the week. I had two hundred fifty dollars every day of the week. I save my money. I spend my money wisely. Now, sure, I've hurt people in my past. I've hurt people in my past. But, past don't describe me. My parents don't describe me. I'm the only one that describes myself. My future describes me. I can't hold on to the future. I can't hold on to the past. I can't regret the past. I can only, I can only let the past teach me. No, it's so hard in a world like what we live in. To go through and have shit that you like. The shit that you like. Oh, yeah, sure. I can go spend my money and fuck. I can go. I got a pair of Levi's. Okay, no big deal. For 20 bucks at um, Burlington. And how much are they? Usually about 80 bucks. I spent 60. I saved $60. That I had. I had 80 bucks. It's a pile of them. I went over, I looked, I went over to the foot logger, I said, hang on, I'll be right back to see how much these are. They said, 80 bucks plus tax. I'm like, okay, I can afford that. I said, let me be right back. I'm going to go grab my money. I left, I went, I said, new shoes here. I'm like, let's go check them out. I went, I bought two pairs of shoes for 40 bucks. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Two pairs of shoes for 40 bucks. A pair of boots and a pair of Levi's. This ain't bad. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. This leads me to my next point. Save money. Yeah, you might hate yourself for spending money. But... You might hate yourself for saving money and being cheap. But in the long run, that'll help out. Matter of fact, I guarantee you. Oh, I could tell you that if I bought a candy bar for a dollar, I would double my profit. I would pay, I would get two dollars. Mm-hmm. Yep, I would get two dollars. I mean, buy a candy bar for 35 cents. Double the profit, 70 cents. If I bought Laffy Taffy for 20 cents, double the profit, 40 cents. If I bought a drink for 50 cents, double the profit, a dollar. If I bought a drink for $4, I'm going to keep it at $4. If I bought a drink for $1.75, I'm doubling the profit. Three fifty. Nah, you better know what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the profit the same. 
two dollars. You know, not everybody's gonna be the same shit. Because not everybody's the same. Everybody's different. This basically covers it all up together. Everybody's different. That's the video. But this is going to be the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. D Squad. Green Squad. Green Squad. Green Squad. There you go. There's your name. Don't don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, Green Squad. And turn your post notifications on. Stay active. Make sure. Um, probably gonna be two uploads today, but I don't know yet. But um, this might be it. This was filmed. Saturday, um, two or four. Saturday, Saturday, February sixteenth, twenty nineteen. Um. But, this is Dakota, signing out. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay happy, stay positive. Don't forget, um, don't let nobody tell you and make you want to or make you be somebody different because there's no one else that can be better you than you. Uh, guys, you didn't like this one. Peace.